Hey, what's up? Uh, today I'm gonna be doing something that's not car related, it's more computer related, uh, just uh, to kind of post on the channel. Not really, you know, I'm an engineer by trade and a, a computer engineer by education, and uh, I still tinker around with computer engineering stuff all the time, so. What I'm going to be doing today is uh, upgrading my network attached storage. Uh, currently I'm running the D212J. It was an entry level NAS box I bought about six years ago. Uh, been, it's been running good for all the files and stuff I store, photos and, and my streaming across the network, but it's getting kind of slow because of the hardware, so I decided to upgrade it upgrade to the D218 or DS218 you know, plus, which what, with their nomenclature, the two means two discs and the 18 means the model year and the plus is their, you know, the line it's in. This, uh, this NAS is pretty good for the price. I think I paid about 250 for it. It comes with a Celeron J3355 processor. It's a 64 bit dual core up to 2.5 uh, gigahertz. So it uh, natively comes with uh, two gigs of RAM. It's a, a two gig stick that they, they've got from Synology in there. It's up, they claim it's upgradable up to eight, or no, up to six. You could put a four in, but uh, there's guys all over the internet that put up to 16 in here. I don't even think the Celeron can handle more than eight uh, gigabytes anyway, but people have put 16 in there. So what I'm gonna do today is I had uh, two sticks of uh, two, four gigabyte sticks from one of my Dell laptops. Uh, uh, I had upgraded to 16 on that laptop, so I had two two fours left um, over from there. It is running, um, this the, this box comes with uh, the 1833 speed. Uh, these are 1600 speed, but you know, the trade off between having um, two gigs versus eight gigs available versus the speed of the RAM, uh, you know, probably won't matter in real real life performance anyways. Um, one of the other features of this uh, box is uh, it's got a new file system. It's the, I forget, this BTRFS file system for RAIDs. Um, I don't really know what it means. Uh, I know traditionally it's always been X4, EXT4. But uh, Synology switched it up to this BTRFS file system a couple years ago, and there's been rave reviews about it. It's got some advantages over the older systems, um, some disadvantages also, but I'm going to be running this alongside my old one as a backup anyway, so I'm going to run the old file system on there for more critical files. And then, uh, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, in order to... Uh, one of the, the the RAM slots is easily accessible. The other one is um, then they don't intend it to be accessible. So you got to kind of take the whole box apart. So that's what I'm going to do today. So you could tell that when I took this piece off, that's where the second non-accessible RAM chip is. The first one, that one's accessible without ever taking this thing apart because you can reach in there from the slot of the disc opening. So just, we'll just pop this baby out. 
It's a Synology branded RAM. Um, the 1866 2GB DDR3. So it's just your standard laptop RAM. Just uh, the one I'm putting in is uh, the Kingston, same brand, or I mean, uh, same DDR3, but this one's the 1600 speed instead of the 1866 speed. upgrade of the DS218 Plus with um, two 8 terabyte drives that I shucked from uh, my external hard drives. If you guys want to see how I shucked those WDs, you can check out my other video that I, I've got on that subject. Uh, those were the what they call the white label WDs. They're really, um, they could be anything um, I'll explain it in that other video if you guys watch it. They could be reds or they could be the HGST uh, helium field drive. So just based on the part number you get out of them. Anyway, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.